Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are modifying an existing video that I've already done. I'll make that video appear up here in the top right corner right about now. Uh, that is the video that we make this timer right here and it just starts whenever we press, press play and it goes down to zero and it'll say time's up and that's what we have and what we're going to do is we're going to make it so uh, that timer isn't shown when the game is started and it's not activated until we touch a certain part in our workspace so we're going to make a part in our workspace and we are going to uh, not activate this or we're going to activate the timer whenever we touch that part so let's just get started the first thing we want to do is we want to go to our workspace and we want to add in a part I'm gonna just drag it right here let's move it up a little bit or it really does not matter um, but what does matter is just name it timer trigger and I'll just set it to red because why not and yeah I actually am going to bring it up just a little bit let's press play and yeah it didn't matter it just fell down because it's not anchored who cares this oh uh, yeah we'll anchor it we'll move it up and we'll wherever it is We'll anchor it. All right, and we're going to select our countdown GUI, and we're just going to. Nah, we'll we'll do that in in the script. We will. Um, let's actually bring this up towards the top. And yeah, let's go to our countdown script. And so we need to grab, uh, we need to grab a path to that timer trigger part. So timer trigger equals game dot workspace. Wait for child timer trigger and also on the start we will hide the text label at the start and so to do that we just say text label dot visible equals false we've got our start countdown and so whenever we start the countdown before this for loop we want to show the text so we want to show the text label once the countdown starts. And to do that, just text label dot visible equals true. And then everything else inside that stays the same. But now we just need to make a function for whenever that part is touched. So function to handle when the player touches the timer trigger and then local function on touch and pass through the hit press enter and inside of that function we will put an if statement of just if hit dot parent find first child of type humanoid or just find first child that is the humanoid then timer trigger dot touch disconnect And then pass through the on touch so we just want to see if the player is chuck 
touching the part here check if a player is touching the part and then here it's to disconnect the event so it only triggers once then we just start the countdown all right and then so since we're starting a countdown here we don't want to start it on the start so this is outside of a function it's just on its own so if we were to leave that and press play it would just start the countdown so we can just delete that but we do need to connect the touch event to the timer trigger part so connect the touch event to the timer trigger part and we just say timer trigger dot touch connect on touch and I believe that should do it let's let's hit play let's see so it is disappeared it's not showing when we start but when we touch that we get an error disconnect is not a valid member of rbx script signal interesting countdown script 26 on 26 so what did we do wrong timer trigger dot touch disconnect on touch hmm uh i don't know uh i thought that would work but it didn't so let's do this uh, we need to make a flag uh, to track if the countdown has started so this should work let's just do this count down started equals false by default and this is a flag to track if the count down has started and then let's scroll down and so right here where it says if hit parent is a humanoid we want to also say and not count down started then countdown started equals true and then we can get rid of this line and start countdown and yeah that should work um but you know it might not let's see there we go so yeah make sure it's working once it gets to zero time's up what happens if i keep touching it nothing that's fine i think that's what we want um so yeah, that will wrap up this video. There's the script one more time. Pretty short, pretty simple, not, not too bad. So um, yeah, thank you for watching. And if you found it useful, don't forget to hit the like button and please consider subscribing. Uh, that really helps me out tremendously. It helps my channel grow and that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to post a video a day. So subscribe and if there's a specific video you want to see, let me know in the comment section and I'll do my best to try to help you. So yeah, thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.